And so, in 2019, ambitious plans commissioned by the Save Grange Lido team give hope that the iconic Lido could soon be back open for business. There would be a 50 metre six lane pool and a heated 25 metre pool alongside a paddling and a play pool. The redeveloped complex would also boast a community space, restaurant, sauna, steam room and shop. Save Grange Lido was formed in 2011, initially as a Facebook page, but has since grown into a formal group with a committee and a constitution. The group has very recently been officially incorporated as a community benefit society. South Lakeland District Council has proposed an investment of around £1.8 million for essential work to preserve the Lido buildings, but has concluded that keeping a pool is not a viable option. Instead, the Council proposes to restore and sympathetically landscape the listed site to create a sustainable community asset. This plan includes a temporary infill or boarding over of the pool in an ornamental garden setting. In response, over 17,000 people signed a petition calling on the Council to include reopening of the pool in any plans to restore the Lido. In contrast, the Save Grange Lido team believes that a restored Lido complex with the 50 metre swimming pool, which would be the only one in Cumbria, is by far the best option for the town and the wider South Lakes area. Proposals and a business plan have been presented to the Council. Save Grange Lido wants to restore the Grade 2 listed facility and operate the site as a not-for-profit community venture with no need for Council subsidy. Architects Studio Octopi have produced the plans. The company has a wealth of experience in swimming pool design and in working with listed buildings. These proposals will see Save Grange Lido raising new funds to renovate the pool alongside the Council's current proposed spending on the existing buildings. Project partners Wrightfield Pools are experts in pool restoration and restored the hugely successful Lido Ponty in Pontypridd, Wales. They have estimated the cost of the pool restoration and new plant at £1.2 million. It is estimated that the initial investment of £1.8 million will generate further funding options from the Heritage Lottery Fund, Architectural Heritage Fund, Coastal Communities Fund and private fundraising. In fact, Save Grange Lido was recently awarded a matched funding grant of more than £6,000 by the Architectural Heritage Fund. This also means it qualifies to apply for a project development grant of up to £30,000. The Architectural Heritage Fund is part funded by Historic England, which, of course, was the organisation that chose to list Grange Lido in the first place. Over recent years, some councils faced with the problem of derelict Lido sites have taken the infill option. For instance, the redevelopment at the South Bay Lido in Scarborough cost in excess of £2 million, funded by Scarborough Council and a local development agency. The return on that investment is minimal, and the site attracts few visitors to the town. On the other hand, there have been many success stories in recent years, and there is no reason why Grange Lido, with its unique coastal setting and Art Deco heritage, can't once again be returned to its former glory. Some 3.5 million people live within a 50 mile radius of Grange, and the Lake District attracts in the region of 40 million visitors every year. This catchment and those visitors to the region will provide a substantial market for the redeveloped Lido. The timing for the opening of a new Lido in Grange could not be better. Please give us your support. <laughs>